Okay, welcome to the second part of how to use the new Don't Travel Empty job generator. And today we will look at how we create um, uh, new uh, new vehicles and pri auto pricing. So we go to setup, we go to manage vehicles or vehicle types, and then we click new vehicle type. Now remember these are vehicle types, not actual physical vehicles within your fleet because bookings might be coming in two, three, four months in advance and you don't know which physical vehicle you'll be sending on the trip. So this is just the vehicle type. So the customer knows what um, type of vehicle to expect and you know what type of vehicle to allocate. So in here, we will type in very um, simply 16. Let's say it's a standard um, vehicle. It's got 16 passengers and we save it. Okay, so that vehicle type has now been um, added. At a later date, we can show you how to actually physically uh, create the vehicles. But for now, for quoting purposes, that's all you need to worry about. Um, you can add facilities as well, but again, we'll keep it easy for now, okay? So creating pricing structure, it's very simple. Um, what you would need to do is work out the cost for how much you would charge for a 16-seater standard coach to be out for, let's say, for example, 200 miles and nine hours, and then fill that box in, okay? So you have to work them all out. We do have some templates that you can um, work with because all the system does is when a job is added, it just calculates depot, pickup point, pickup point to location, how long it's at the location for, and then the return coming home. If it's an airport run, going from depot to pickup point to airport, returning empty to base, and the same maybe a week later, and it just finds the most uh, appropriate, closest cost to in here. Now you can add more miles down the side by clicking over here. So if you wanted to click more miles, you just click um, that button. You could add another 10. So you can start at 10, 20, 30, 40, and go to 50, then up in um, hundreds, and you can add more hours down the side if you want. But just for the purposes of this, we'll do it really quickly. We'll put 165 in there. We'll increase each um, each 50-mile block by 15%, uh, and then we'll save. Okay. Now, at a later date, once you've, once you've set this up and you're happy that it's accurate, you can create other pricing times. So you might go a different pricing structure for June the 1st to July the 31st, maybe a different pricing structure January the 1st, February the 28th. And you can also have different prices for different times of the day. So if a job starts at, say, 10 o'clock in the evening but goes through to 5 o'clock in the morning and you set this to start at midnight and finish at 6 and then multiplied it, say, by 10%, then it would add 10% to the cost of the trip for the five hours that it was between midday and five o'clock, mid midnight and five o'clock, okay? Um, but we can give you some more in-depth lessons with that um, when you need it. But for now, it's just a very simple case of um, setting up auto pricing, okay? And what I'm gonna very quickly do as well, I'm just gonna log out, log back in again, and turn auto pricing on in the admin section so that that's up and running. So where are we? Turn auto pricing, and we'll turn those on as well. And then we'll go back in as test. Then we go to setup, manage vehicles, turn auto pricing on. Remember, you've got the ability to turn it on and off. And now we will test it on the directory, okay? So we will go from, let's just find out where our depot is so we're not going too far. Depot is in Norwich, okay? So we will go from Norwich and we will go to for the day and we will leave on the 26th come back on the 26th at 7 a.m and let's say we're coming back at 4 30 14 passengers bung my details in here instant quote okay now ignore whether that's accurate or not um, it will obviously be more accurate once you've actually set your pricing up, but it gives you an indication of how to how to use it. Okay, thanks for listening.